Hi there and welcome to a competitive EDH gameplay battle. And yes, in this battle we have a mono black Sir Conrad running around. And yes, I actually think Sir Conrad is more towards the casual power level. But the best way to really figure out how this commander venture is to playtest it. And Celt have really been trying to push this knight towards its greatest potential. With us we have some people from CDH Nexus, Deke playing his Krark and Frasius Tamer Storm. You've seen it before. And Snuske also from CDH Nexus is playing Raktos, Rograf and Tevesh. Me, I'm playing my Kenrif Reanihating Stacks. Let's rock and roll. Celt is a starting player. I'm gonna draw a card, Snow Covered Swamp, Mana Crypt. Tapping my Mana Crypt, using one of the mana for a mana vault. I'm gonna use two of that to cast Mesmeric Orb. And then tapping my Swamp and the other two colorless for a Dark Deal. <laughs> no, wait, is that just oh an entire hand? I love it. Mm, no. I'm gonna draw two cards from this. Wait, isn't Dark Deal the black wheel? Discard and draw new. Yeah, minus one. Oh my god. Oh, no. <laughs> wow, what no. a hand. I hope you liked your hands. Yeah, uh, you really like liked my hand. I, I kind of like my hand, not really, so I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm gonna discard uh, Elves of Deep Shadow, Blood Moon, Falia, Forest, Land, Mayhem, and Bird of Paradise. I'm going to discard Land Grant, Elvish Spirit Guide, Tinder Wall, Wild Growth, Mana Crypt, Verdant Catacombs, Command Tower. Then yeah, I had a uh, Coffers, Feed the Swarm, and a Tormod. I didn't say that. Discus Will, Pyro, Demonic Tutor, Bergy, Mox Amber, Goodbye. And that is all for turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that it? <laughs> Come on, this gotta be a land, please. Pass turn. Oh no. I didn't draw land. I'm so dead. You're, you're a monster, Celt. Look what you've done. Uh, volcanic. Oh, monster straight up pass. And I will cast a training grounds. That's good, I'll pass. All right, rock hard. Uh, cast rock rack. And... No response. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That was, that was we'll not deal. force Rograk this time. The, this this dark deal is... Some, someday I'm going to force will someone's Rograk. Guess I'll play a swamp and I'll pass. First hand was a lot better. I will untap mill two. Timurat calls the dead and a chrome box. Then I will land... Oh wait, uh, mana grips bigger. Uh, flip a coin. Heads is damage and heads. Well, let's go tap two and four for a bitter blossom, floating black and a colorless. And oh, ha. all right, I will draw a card. I will discard a uh, mox diamond and pass turn. <sighs> Uh, Snuski, I'm sorry, I don't think I get to show you a rule of law this game. Nah, it just doesn't, doesn't look like <laughs> it. I, I, I don't get to show anything either, so, interesting. Um, let's do Arid Mesa and crack it. Let's grab myself a Taiga, and I'll just cast a Thrasios. And Passios. Okay. Yeah, we'll just tap the Graven Cairns and cast a Mana Vault. Uh, I have a response to the Mana Vault. Sorry. Uh, mental Mista. Thank you. Ouch. <laughs> You're hurting my feelings. Um, yeah. Uh, well, that changes things even more. Yes. I will untap Milling 3, which would be Arcane Signet, Assault Monolith, and Snow Covered Swamp. And then a Mana Crypt Trigger. Heads is damage. Tails. Woohoo. One damage from the Mana Vault. A Fairy Rogue. There. Um, land for turn. All these lands have been top decks, by the way. I had one after I dark field. Let's one, two, three, four, five, and Sir Conrad. Yeah. And let's, uh, this doesn't have haste, so I won't attack. Not be able to tap anything else, so I'll pass. I'll draw a card, and I will uh, pass the turn, discarding uh, Ulven Tracker. Uh, untap to trigger two Mesmeric Orbs. Mill an island, mill a ponder. Draw for turn. Island. Uh, I'm gonna play a Rite of Flame. Cast a crack. <laughs> And then I'll pass. Sure. I will untap this and mill one. Okay. Let's do Bloodstained Mire, Badlands, and cast a Diabolic Intent, sacrificing rock. Trigger, Sir Conrad. Everyone take a damn. Uh, gets to me, I pass on the intent. I will just quickly put a counter on this guy, and I know what I'm getting, so you can go ahead. Okay, I will untap a bunch of things. That's four, milling four, which is Swamp, Yagma, Grave Crawler. So untapping Mana Vault, flip four mana for it. Head, so I take damage. And then I'll take one more from Bitter Blossom. Wait, wait, you have an untapped trigger from the vault, Mesmeric or the vault untapped. Yes, true. Machaeus, take another damage. That is all of that fun stuff, so I will draw for turn. 
turn. Let's land for turn and let's attack the Adnaz player for six. Okay. Yeah, that's me then. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think Mons is on Adnaz. <laughs> he might be, I don't know. Deke is gonna bribery mine. There are 31 lands in this deck. There are 29 remaining inside it. <laughs> Come on now, Dick. Uh, Even past you. the turn, I'm going to discard <laughs> End of a... turn, I'll End of turn. <laughs> activate Thras, yes. Kind of trigger, you discarded a creature. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll put that card on bottom. I will flip a Mog Salvage. I'll untap three permanents, get three triggers, snap, repeal, and Mox Amber will go to my graveyard. I'll draw for turn. Swing two at Snooske. Thank you. Yeah. Tap two, and I will play a Krark's Thumb. Got my thumb, I'll pass my turn. Uh, let's not mill ourselves too much. I think I'll just untap these and mill two. I'll mill City of Brass and a Dance of the Dead. And draw for turn. Play another Swamp. We'll filter for some red into the Graven Cairns and another one. And cast a Wheel of Fortune. That's gonna hurt. Just saying. Yep. In response to the Wheel of Fortune, I will activate Conrad. Everyone mill a card. I am a Utopia Sprite. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you're gonna draw some new ones. It's fine. Yeah, you'll draw more. Probably, oh, maybe. Uh, Snooske, what? After all that milling, wouldn't Underworld Breach just have won you the game? Uh, yeah. I had the detutor <laughs> okay. in that. I had the, I, I had the detutor down there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, men mental fatigue. Mental fatigue. I did not think that. Wild Grove, Carpet, Felwar Stone, and four creatures. I'm discarding a Golgari Thug, which I'll use the first of the draws to dredge. Okay. Uh, Aether Flux, Mind's Desire, Mog Salvage, and Frantic Search. Uh, Reign of Filth, Final Fortune, Demonic Consult, Spire of Industry. How many creatures was discarded here? A zero from me. I discard zero. Well, one Four. from me. So five total. Everyone take five. Or not everyone, but... But yeah, Breach would have been a great idea. Yeah, but you would have just be, won. It, it, it still would have been a bit too <laughs> slow without the Mana Vault, I think. We would still have to wait until maybe next turn. I... Could have maybe found no, the no. You breach, you tutor, you get LED, and then I guess I don't know how huge your card is. Yeah, so about the dredge. So I'm dredging back the first drop from Wheel of Fortune. So I'll just basically mill four and draw six. Yep, and that'll trigger Conrad because a creature left the graveyard. Then the four mill will be a bunch of lands and a stinkweed imp. Oh, gross. So I'm going to dredge the stinkweed imp with the second draw. One, mm -hmm. here into the abyss. That'll be a second Conrad trigger. And another and trigger dead. for him hitting the yards. I'll count these for up to three. Murder and extra planar lands. So no extra no creatures in that five? No creatures. Okay. Just a bunch of animation. Okay. Yep. Okay, then I'll have a five draws left. Sir Conrad is really dealing some damage. I will give it that. Uh, let's do Mox Diamond. If it makes it to your turn, we'll see what happens with Selt. <laughs> right. I will discard a City of Traders, cast a Jeweled Lotus, and a Mox Opal. I'll just turn off my Mox Opal. Tap that, sack that, tap the diamond as well, and cast Tevesh. Got Tevesh. Cool. I will plus two, making two thralls, which are zero ones, represented by these one one weird zombie tokens. And then I will pass the turn. I will untap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven things, milling seven, which would be Mind Crank, Marsh Flats, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, just a lot of fast mana, no creatures. Mm -hmm. And a Yogg Will. That's good. And I'll take the damage from Mana Crypt. I'll take one damage from Bitter Blossom, making another Fairy Road. That's all my triggers, so I'll go to my turn. Land for turn, or a Golgari Thug. Diabolic Intent, sacrificing the Thug. When it dies, I'm going to put... That'll be a Sir Conrad trigger. Correct. Uh, yeah. Let's just put a Tormod on top. It does not really matter. I'm not planning on reanimating Tormod or anything in my grave. So that will be two uh, Corvo, uh, Conrad trigger. It does. Yeah. I'm just going to grab that, um, shuffle my library. Diabolic Intent is resolved. Then I can go one, two, three, and Contamination. How about we just swing out at Tevish is up? Before phases change here, or when you're moving to attacks. Give me one second. We got a blue. I'll cast a chain of vapor targeting the contamination. Trigger crook. Uh, I'll roll two dice. Uh, evens will double and odds will return to my hand. Is that good? I have no evens there. It'll go back to my hand. <laughs> That's, uh, that is extremely unlucky. That is the yeah. way she goes. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to be using my floating red. You can go to combat. Sir Conrad and uh, two of the flyers. I'll block Conrad with a roll, and he'll take you. And I have, like, no mana aside from mana vault, so I will 
past the turn. I'm gonna draw a card per turn. Nice, that is actually kind of good. So here is snow covered forest. Crow. Hey, let's go, mom. You have a, you no, have no. a swamp. Uh, in printing, don't. Ah, in printing, Biomancer's familiar. Tap this and cast the fish. And that's it. Go for it. Pass turn. Four triggers. Got Possibility Storm, Mystic Remora, Song of Creation, and Chromox going to my yard. That was like all the spice. <laughs> Dude, I've got all my gas in my yard, pretty much. I have a Mox Diamond. I'll discard a yep. Prismatic Vista, red, cast a Dockside. Pass on it. Okay. You're going to get one, two, three, four, five from me. Two. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not bad. I'm going to cast Chain of Vapor, targeting Dockside Extortionist. Roll two. I uh, got an even. I'll choose that and make a copy. The copy is going to target my Mox Diamond. Yep. You may draw a card. Resolve the original. Bounce the dock side. I might copy it. Uh, I'm Chain of Vapor. I can make a copy from it by sacking a land. A copy resolved. Bouncing my Mox Diamond. I chose not to copy it. I now resolve the original. I'm going to choose to copy it by sacking a Taiga. And I'm going to target... Uh, yeah, Mons, I'm going to target your Mystic Amora. <laughs> Sure. Or Would moms. you like to sack a land and copy it further? No. no. Do it. Okay. <laughs> you bounce Crux thumb. <laughs> uh, I'll recast a Mox Diamond. I will discard an island. Uh, red, black. Cast a Dockside. Uh, this will be one less this time. Uh, count was nine, so I'll make eight. I'll cast an Explore. Trigger Crook. Uh, evens. Uh, I'll resolve the copy. Draw a card. Uh, I'll resolve the original. Draw a card. I will use one, two treasures. I'd like to cast an Underworld Breach. Yay, it's over. <laughs> it, it should be over. Uh, I have an Aether Flux and a Mind's Desire in here. And some other stuff. Mox Amber. So we had Dockside two times. We had Mox Diamond two times. Chain of Vapor. We had Underworld Breach. Mox Amber and Explore. Storm count is currently eight. Yeah, so I'll build up some more mana maybe and cast an Aether Flux Reservoir. So whenever I cast a spell, I gain a life for each spell cast previously, previous to it. Um, and then I'm just going to cast this Mind's Desire. Uh, it has Storm, lets me uh, exile random cards for each storm count and then cast them for free. Uh, so I'll be able to cast this multiple times, hit a bunch of cards. Aether Flux is already gaining me 10 plus life a turn or per spell cast. Cast, and I'll easily be able to get up to uh, over 150 life and shoot everyone with Aether Flux Threads more. Nice. Which Good order job. do you shoot us in? <laughs> um, I gotta put Mons out of his misery first. I feel so bad for him. That was <laughs> not no, game. Okay. So I definitely shoot Mons first. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Can I die next? Please? Yes. Play of the game. Past Mesmeric Orb. Mesmeric Orbs. Mill an island, mill a ponder. I'll untap three permits, get three triggers, snap, repeal, and mox amber will go to my graveyard. Four triggers. Got Possibility Storm, Mystic Remora, Song of Creation, and Chromox going to my yard. It is really risky to mill people in the current meta. Just saying. Just like don't feed the fish, don't feed the breach. Big congratulations, Deke, for winning the match. Personally, a little bit sad I didn't get to do much in it, but that's how it is sometimes. That's it for today. I hope you liked the battle. I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I do and you want to support me, feel free to share my videos or even checking out my Patreon page. Also, purchasing cards from the TCG Players website using the affiliate link in the description below of the video will also help the channel grow. So a big thank you to all of you.